the day when I give up all my dreams on Chris Brown. The fact that Chris Brown is mentioned in your vows is, is, oh my gosh. I love you more than Chris Brown. Know your limits. And why are you marrying this? Huh? Josh or Duke? Duke! Duke. 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 Josh? Sorry. Or Duke? Duke! Duke. 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 I'm sucking Duke's Duke. butt. I don't know what it is about today's Damn. day and age, but this celebrity crush thing has gone way too far. What's going on, everybody? Look, having Shout a out, celebrity homies. crush isn't something that's a big deal, isn't a new concept, and it should honestly be pretty harmless. But at some point, it gets a little bit out of hand when people would risk multiple years of a relationship for 30 seconds of celebrity I think interaction. It's about all it's kind of celebrities like Chris Brown now, too. no matter how unpopular Chris Breezy is oh. in the mainstream media, that does not stop women from flocking towards his shows, even that's those in relationships, and they're willing to risk it all for whatever's going down in the b-town well 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 i was just about to say this girl got married and and did the thing with chris brown like oh my god i'm glad he's showing this one we finally made it to the day the day when i give up all my dreams on chris brown bro i've actually seen this exact instagram reel or instagram post the fact that the the fact that chris brown is mentioned in your vows is is Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, I don't know what's nastier. Saying those vows in front of your husband, in front of his entire family, and laughing it off as some sort of joke, or having the first picture in your... I forgot the first picture was a Chris Brown picture. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot the wedding was after the fucking picture of Chris Brown. Wedding photos that you put on Instagram be a picture of you and Chris Brown at this meet and greet where you're about to make out. Now, and, 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 okay, I'm sorry, guys, I keep pausing, but look at the, look at the caption. The first two, the first two paragraphs are about Chris Brown, not the nigga she is marrying. The first two paragraphs are about Chris Brown. Rightfully so, this woman's been getting flamed on the internet, and a lot of people have been asking why would she do this? Chris Brown offers a meet and greet as his package for his 11-11 tour, or really any tour that he does, and fans are allowed to take pictures. The cost of it is $1,111, 11-11. Now these do not include concert ticket prices, so the price of the whole experience is probably $2,000. And I guess a lot of women see this as in time and opportunity to just get freak nasty and take total advantage of whatever celebrity they can They be get. taking some Even crazy ass sexual. pictures with Chris Brown. Oh, some men do it. Now, the only thing these fans are getting is oh, a picture my left with the man, a signed picture, an early entry to the concert, and a whole calendar, fam. He even did this for his last <laughs> tour, and this one fan keep on coming back. He even made a customized shirt from the oh last my... tour. Like, that is how dedicated they are. He's doing this for 36 cities, and the man is charging them 1100 Times that by 100 people per city, bro. Dog. He's making almost four mil. Damn. An extra four mil for grabbing cheeks and taking pictures. Sign me up, bro. Yo, yeah, for real? <laughs> Can I hate? Nope. You <laughs> need a bench press or something there. That shit fun. Like, I, that I, shit I, fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't do no motherfucking pictures with your shirt off because then you can't gauge can't what the person. Skin. It can't be skin. Yeah, because you, you, you don't know yeah, what yeah, you yeah, yeah, Mother might lick your stomach or something. You're going to be like, hold on. Yeah, that's <laughs> Look, I'm not hating on Chris Breezy. I might do the same exact thing if I was a celebrity who a lot Four of mil? people in a certain generation view as a sex symbol. But I do think things are very interesting in this conversation. For one, I think that this could only fly for a male performer and his female or even male fan base where there is a lack of boundaries or personal space in these regards. Clearly, these people are allowing Chris Brown to do these sorts of things. The fusion one was fire, though. Fun. I can't even lie. However, I would wonder how many women artists do meet and greets. Not that I'm saying I want to go to the next Glow Reel or Meg The Stallion concert and put my bulge in their hands, but I do find it interesting <laughs> that we see these outrageous pictures from the men's concerts, but not the women's concerts. Cause God forbid a brother wants to- Imagine, imagine you go to a meet and greet and, and tell Meg to bend it over over you or bend it over and like on you, like grind on you some shit. That ain't happening, bro. It ain't happening. Get a grab. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. Or you get no to grab her cheeks. It's a single person who is the Not artist happening. and a single person who is the person paying for the photos. That's perfectly Mike fine. Bro, I have a problem with this is when somebody in a relationship, like the young lady mentioned earlier, is doing these things and is on the way to getting married. I didn't see this picture. I love you more than Chris Brown. Know your limits. 
Why? Why are you marrying this? Oh my and making fun of this man in this situation. And I get it, I've dated women who were stands or fans of some people, but trust me, we have hard conversations about these things beforehand. So if I saw any ultraviolet red flags, I am dipping out immediately. Ultraviolet. She's lucky that she didn't end up just like that girl from earlier this oh, year. Malay. The oh my fucking goodness. The Omalay oh thing, the Omalay oh thing was, was, oh my gosh, that shit was so depressing, bro. It, that is like he was there. Your man was in the crowd. He brought you to the concert. And we can see what you're doing to him. Everyone in this crowd can see what you're doing to him. Omale concert where she went up on stage and freaked on Omale. And then she got embarrassed because her boyfriend left her at the end of the show, which he had every right to do. And then she tried she basically, to beg and had to be on the platform and that didn't work out. But he ended up on the platform, the ex-boyfriend, and got tons and, and tons she of got, money. She crashed She's out. lucky that she didn't end up in this situation. And her husband's a dummy for probably going through with it because that's publicly embarrassing. That I don't is think so that's bad. Okay. My one pass is so-and-so celebrity. Like, call me old-fashioned or call me insecure or whatever, but it's like, I just find that is so weird. That's, like, kind of disrespectful to your partner because you're basically saying to your partner, oh, like, I love you, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, but I also find this random celebrity really, really hot, and if given the chance, I would totally sleep with them. Exactly! Like people who are overly obsessed with celebrities have mental health disorders because there is just no way you can be infatuated and crazy By another person about like that. a human being who... Breathe just like you breathe. Why are you guys overly obsessed with with these celebrities? Like, put that much time and attention into loving yourself. That's I think that fact. being infatuated with a celebrity or a person with some sort of stature is okay to an extent. Of course, you know, having jerseys is fine. Having posters is fine. All these things are fine. But there are people who outwardly and openly cross lines that I personally think is too much. If you're to the point where you're saying, I would risk my relationship or somebody that is a celebrity, then that's where I think things are totally out of pocket. Mm -hmm. Especially when you don't know these people. We have seen a lot of cases on the internet in 2024 specifically, where these celebrities end up being terrible people and people constantly support them without knowing who they are or be the people who are even worse, who give some sort of grace for the actions that they did. Some examples that come to mind are Dr. Dish disrespect mr beast drake and even r kelly r kelly is a crazy <laughs> example because first and foremost there were a bunch of people who were infatuated with him who allowed their family members to be in his presence knowing what he did mm -hmm. and then secondly and probably worse is that there were so many people who brushed off the things that he did or the things that he said because of his stature and his mm -hmm. name which brings us to the most infatuated celebrity in the wl community and that's who i <laughs> You Duke. know him, you love him. His name is Captain Atlanta Duke Dennis. <laughs> Captain Duke Atlanta. Right? Incoming Duke Clays. Oh, yeah, you're 32. I'm fucking 29. Yeah, tight. Oh. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. Like, whoa. I'm about to crash out. Like, move. move. I'm over here having a conversation. Don't put your fucking titties on me out of nowhere like that, bro. Because if it was reversed and you having a conversation with your homegirl and I over here put my dick on you, like, bro, come on. Good, how are you? Hi. You are <laughs> And this nigga just cool with it. Tight shit. But yeah. Is she with her man? Peace. Tight shit. Tight I'm shit. the one that's. Was she with her man? Is that. That's either her man or her father, bro. Either way, disgusting behavior. Hey man, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing All the bitches ask for Duke, you got a nigga asking where Kaya is. It's always a nigga. Hey, yo, Kaya, where you at? No bitches. No bitches <laughs> saying, yo, yo, where Kaya? It's a, yo, look at this nigga, man. <laughs> I gotta do with Kaya. W crash out. W crash out. <laughs> And there's some interesting things about these dynamics that nobody really wants to talk about. Specifically when there is this male content creator or male celebrity in question, it almost seems as if women get this pass or green light to do sexual things, or it's perceived to say the most nastiest and vile things, and not even just say it, but when they interact with these people, sometimes go about doing it. I didn't like how in the first clip that woman decided to invade Duke's Dennis's personal space. Now mind you, she could have been inebriated or intoxicated, but we've seen clips like this on the internet 
at before where women just feel like they can impede on people's personal space do or say nasty things when it comes to the celebrities in our lives just because they are women i think a lot of times mm -hmm. they get a pass in that regard when any other i saw this i'm sorry y'all I, I always be yapping bro i saw this fucking video on tiktok of this dude who was just like having fun he was like dancing by himself and this girl tried to come up on him and was like trying to grind on him and he kept backing up but he was still dancing but he was backing up and she turned around and grabbed this nigga's dick bro like I, dog insane bro imagine that shit the other way around niggas getting canceled all over the internet bro imagine that shit the other way around that nigga's never seen the light of day again bro situation we would call it what it is harassment and to a different extent Kai Sinat sees the same sort of obsession when it comes to his stardom and his fame I mean look at the situation when he had his NYC takeover the fact that people felt like they could impede his personal space it goes beyond a personal crush or some sort of lovey-dovey type situation but just the overall obsession with celebrities in today's day and age is crazy the lady earlier in the video mentioned crazy. that having some sort of obsession with a celebrity could be classified as a mental illness and I gotta agree there's a certain demographic that loves a female rap artists that i won't dare They're say social. the name of because hey they might find me and me or whatever the case may be but there's been studies that showed that those who have obsessions with celebrities have a lower intelligence level wait he said he said female did he say female rapper is it is it the is it the barbs is he talking about the barbs is he talking about the the the, the bees that showed that those who have a find me and female rap artist that I will female rap artist he's probably talking about the bars hey, they might find me and <laughs> me or whatever the case may be but there's been studies that showed that those who have obsessions with celebrities have a lower intelligence level and perform pretty badly on cognitive tests so I there saw may that be too. a little bit something to them and then there I are saw some that, that just take too. it to the whole next level and this is why i'm very weary about this topic because we see how the impacts of social media are affecting kids today but we've seen situations where people take this celebrity obsession and do crazy things to said celebrities hell we had a whole president shot over an obsession with celebrities in the past but there was a barb who actually tried to sue Nicki minaj for five million dollars for emotional damage when that in fact barb was actually harassing Nicki minaj himself i saw Nicki's that social media manager took to twitter to speak up about this and claim that he allegedly has a history of stalking the rapper following her at all of her shows and even going as far as to book hotel rooms in the same hotels that she stays at look i can't save the past generations because i think what a lot of celebrities hey, have, have shown in these job, recent bro? years is that they don't honestly align with your views they don't honestly care about your opinions or your feelings and honestly they see you as just nothing but a debit card to swipe so they can continue to live their lavish lifestyles or somebody to prey on so i don't understand why people are still looking into Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, R. Kelly, or any of these other celebrities as some people to be obsessed with. But specifically to the younger demographics, I would love to say, hey, do not fall into these traps of the old because all this stuff is totally weird. And parents, please watch what your kids consume or the young people in your life consume. I'm not gonna 100% put this type of lifestyle on these people, especially in today's- Now I will add, bro, it's okay to support an artist. It's okay to support a streamer or a YouTuber, or whatever. It's okay to like watch them. It's okay for them to be your favorite. It's okay to spend money to support them. Like I said, but like it's it's when it gets to a point where it's like, damn, you you acting like we're best friends type shit. Kind of kind of weird, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. This day and age, celebrities do a really good job of creating parasocial relationship yep. when it comes to the content creator and the people consuming the content themselves. So then it becomes hard to separate what is not and is real life for a lot of these young people. And that's where you see a lot of people spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on subs during somebody's subathon last week. Whoa, 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 who's gifting? Wait, shut the fuck up. Tacky too flashy, get the 250,000? Wait, am I bugging? Yo, where's the alerts, gang? Why is nobody... 250,000. That's crazy. What the fuck? Yo, everybody who is dropping this much, yo, I appreciate y'all niggas. You guys are fucking amazing. I fucking love y'all niggas. Tacky too flashy. Give your mother back the fucking card. Give <laughs> your mother back the Give fucking card. Give your mother back the fucking card. And even though I was a little kid, everybody laughed it off and thought it was a quirky internet moment. But the whole time I'm thinking to myself, where the hell is this kid's mom? They should not be so yeah. engaged with Kai Sinat where this person can send that type of money to somebody. And definitely, if you're in a relationship and you ask your partner what hall pass they would ever have, and the first words out of their mouth is a celebrity, that is a clear sign to run.
this shit is just odd, bro. It's very odd. This celebrity shit is kind of crazy. Duke! Duke! 